Hi. We just released a new online theme builder tool for drafts, and I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of some of the things you can do with it. So let's say I'm on my iPad here. I've got drafts open on the left. If I go into my editor preferences, I'm currently using a dark theme, actually using the default dark theme that ships with the app. But I want to go look for some other theme options, so I scroll down and say get themes. That takes me to the Drafts directory website to look at themes provided by the community. I'm going to browse these. Let's look at the popular ones. I like this vivid dark theme. It's got different size headings, bright colors. So I'm going to install that by clicking the Install button, which offers to open it in Drafts, confirm the installation. And now if I go back to select themes, I've got a new Vivid Dark Plus option, and let's make that active. It looks good. I, I mostly like that, but I'm not crazy about the yellow tint color. I might want to tweak some of the text. So I'm going to go back to where I found that in the directory and click the Open in Theme Builder option. That's going to load this new Theme Builder tool with the settings from that theme already loaded. You can also come in and load themes from a file, but starting at the directory is a quick way to do it. You get a little preview of the interface, a preview of what the text looks like, and then configuration options. And that's where you do your tweaks. So I'm going to go in there and identification. I'm going to rename this just so I can tell when I install it which theme it is. Then to have scopes. Scopes control the way text look. Um, exactly what all these options do is beyond the scope of this video, but you can see documentation at the user guide. But if I look down here, the ones in bold are the most commonly used scopes. So let's say I want to change my text heading a little bit. I can open that up. And let's say I want my level one headings to be just super bold, black text. Um, and I don't know, because I'm weird, I want them to be italic. You can see the preview updates live. Now, the editor colors are just named colors that are used in scopes. And in the interface colors are where you tweak more elements of the interface. Again, there is documentation on what all these colors do, but you can kind of play around as well, and some of them are obvious by name. So I want to change this yellow tint color. I prefer something in a nice strong green, say. And the alternate tint color is what controls the word count there. I'm going to make that green also, maybe a little darker than the other one. You can see those colors are reflected in the preview. Once I've made the changes I want, I can download this as a file that I could load later into drafts or reload into the editor, the theme builder. But right now I'm just going to install the theme with those tweaks. Same thing, that's going to bring me back to drafts, confirm the installation of this theme. And now I can go back. I'll have an additional option in editor preferences. And apply that. I've got my nice green tint, I've got my strong italic header, and that's it. That'll get you started with how to just make little option tweaks to themes you can find in the directory.